Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about ISRO launches Chandrayaan-3, India's biggest space mission. So let's get started. India is seeking to become only the fourth nation to make a controlled lunar landing following the successful launch of its Chandrayaan-3 mission on Friday. Chandrayaan, which translates as Moon Vehicle in Sanskrit, was launched shortly after 2.30 p.m. local time from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh. Chandrayaan-3 writes a new chapter in India's space odyssey, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said through Twitter. It soars above the clouds, raising the dreams and hopes of every Indian. This momentous achievement is a credit to our scientists' unwavering dedication. I commend their initiative and imagination. The spacecraft is expected to settle on the moon on 23rd August. It is India's second attempt at a soft landing, following the failure of the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019. Chandrayaan-1, India's first lunar spacecraft, orbited the moon and then crashed landed on the surface in 2008. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, designed Chandrayaan-3, which includes a lander, propulsion module, and rover. The mission's goal is to safely land on the moon's surface, collect data, and conduct scientific experiments to better understand the moon's composition. Only the United States, Russia, and China have succeeded in soft landing a spacecraft on the moon's surface. Indian engineers have been working on the launch for years. They want to land Chandrayaan-3 near the tough terrain of the moon's unexplored South Pole. India's first lunar mission, Chandrayaan-1, discovered water molecules on the moon's surface. Eleven years later, T. He Chandrayaan-2 successfully entered lunar orbit, but its rover crashed on the moon's surface. It was also intended to examine the moon's south pole. Despite the mission's failure, India's then Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, commended the engineers involved and promised to continue advancing India's space program. India has spent around $75 million on the Chandrayaan-3 mission since then. According to Modi, the rocket will travel more than 300,000 kilometres, 186,411 miles, and will arrive at the moon in the coming weeks. India's space program dates back more than six decades, to a time when the country was a freshly founded republic and a severely poor nation in the aftermath of a brutal partition. The country's space goals were far behind those of the United States and the former Soviet Union when it launched its first projectile into space in 1963. India is the world's most populated country and the fifth largest economy. It boasts a fast-growing young population and serves as a centre for innovation and technology. India's space ambitions have been playing catch-up under Modi. The politician, who was elected in 2014 on a promise of nationalism and future glory, sees India's space programme as a symbol of the country's rising worldwide prestige. India became the first Asian country to visit Mars in 2014, when it sent the Manglian spacecraft into orbit around the Red Planet for $74 million, significantly less than Hollywood's $100 million budget for the space drama Gravity. Three years later, India broke a new record by launching 104 satellites in a single operation. Modi stated in a rare broadcast address in 2019 that India had shot down one of its own satellites in an anti-satellite test. In the same year, former ISRO chairman Kalaswadivu Sivan announced that India intended to build an autonomous space station by 2030. The International Space Station and China's Taingong Space Station are the only space stations currently open to expedition crews.